So there you have it, the fifth edition of the Goffs London Sale is a wrap. Some of the biggest names and faces in horse racing were here. The likes of John Gosden I saw, Willie Mullins, Joseph O'Brien was here and Zoe Vicarage was among them. Zoe, tell us about what's happened this evening and uh, which, which horse topped the sale today? Well, it was obviously Belle Josephine, the dam of Mildenberger, who was uh, offered in a three-for-one deal, essentially, with her pivotal foal at foot and in foal to Sayuni and herself. She went the way of Alistair Donald and... Um, Ed Sackville, who bought her on behalf of King Power Racing uh, for £720,000. Um, you know, King Power Racing came to the fore last year, stocking up, and uh, they were at it again this year. Obviously, Belle Josephine won't be running this week. So which of the horses that, uh, that are entered up at Royal Ascot caught your eye and, and perhaps interesting ones that changed hands today? Well, it's another that's gone to King Power Racing today, and that shines so bright. The Carl Burke trained uh, prospect, an impressive winner at Nottingham last time out, uh, entered in the Coventry, Norfolk, and Windsor Castle Stakes. So, three entries for um, the owner to decide. Uh, Carl Burke's in great form with Lawrence at the moment, so surely to be on the money. Was a Royal Ascot winner sold here this afternoon? We'll find out soon enough because it's not long now, we have to wait everything Royal Ascot this week with Racing Post Bloodstock make sure you keep across it with us we'll have every angle covered make sure you head to Racing Post Bloodstock for our full report from here at the Goffs London Sale thanks for following us and we'll see you again soon